Okay, Alex, after the, after the chaos of last week, I'm sure, it's, I'm sure you're glad to get your feet under the table this week at Colney, aren't you? Yeah, it's been great. Um, but to be fair, last week was a great start. You know, the game was excellent and we managed to win the game, which is the most important thing. So, um, no, the lads have been great this week um, and obviously we're looking forward to the game tomorrow. How's it been? Do you feel settled into the environment down here at Colney now? Yeah, I think with each day it goes by, I feel more and more settled. Um, I think the lads are getting used to me as well. Um, so, no, it's, it's, it's worked well this week and hopefully that will come on and, and get a good result tomorrow. You've told the press that your job is to get this group functioning as, as a proper team and get them winning games. Have you, can you give us any insight into what you've been working on in your first week here? Um, just in terms of letting the lads know what their, their tasks are, when they've got the ball, when they've not got the ball. Um, and how we want to go about our business in terms of the actual game itself and looking at the strengths and weaknesses of opposition. So just really basic stuff, um, but it's stuff that, if you do it properly, um, can have a real impact in matches. Have you had a good response from the lads out here? Yeah, great. Uh, last, so the first three days training uh, was excellent, the tempo was good, um, and there's, there's real quality within the squad, we already know that. So, as I say, it's just about getting them functioning properly on the pitch. And your, your final reflex, reflections on Bournemouth, it was a really impressive victory, that wasn't it? Yeah, it was a great victory for us. Um, and I thought the game itself, we deserved it. I thought certainly the first half we were the better side. Um, in the second half, obviously, going down to 10 men is difficult. But I thought the sort of resilience that we showed and how hard we worked. Um, and obviously that wee bit of quality came in the end. And looking ahead to the weekend, Cardiff City, the visitors, what sort of game are you expecting against them? Yeah, but a difficult match. You know, they're in a similar position to ourselves where they come down for the Premier League. Um, and I'm sure they've got expectations that they should be higher in the league. So it'll be a difficult game. Um, they're very direct in their play and we're going to have to make sure we compete and, and do the sort of dirty side of the game because I think if we can control the ball and the quality we have then I'm hoping we should be a force to be reckoned with going forward I'm sure you know they've only won once away from home in the league this season but there's no room for complacency from your part I suppose No, not at all um, I, don't, I don't think form at times really has a bearing on things You know, I mean, it's going to be who plays best on the day and if we can play at our full potential then we've got a good chance of picking up a victory. Have you seen the highlights from the last time we played them in an extraordinary game where they were two up at half time and we went on to win four two? Yeah, I've done a, I've done a lot of research on, on Cardiff um, and obviously us as well um, over the season sort of going by so far. Um, but no, it should hopefully make for an entertaining match. A couple of questions regarding the squad. Stephen Whitaker went off with the illness against Bournemouth. How's, how's he feeling? Is he going to be okay for this weekend? Yeah, he's been better. He missed training on Monday, but he joined in the next two days, so Stephen will be fine for tomorrow. And Ryan Bennett pulled up with a hamstring problem. Can you give us an update on him? Uh, it's just a grade one uh, tear in his hamstring, so yeah. you're probably talking maybe two weeks. Okay. And Elliot Bennett returned from Brighton with a hamstring injury. Is there any chance of him featuring this weekend, or is he going to be out as well? Uh, he's not trained this week. Yeah. He's, he's been working with the sort of strength and conditioning guys, so uh, he's probably just a wee bit short. And Vardis Odijorfo is someone who's missed quite a few games this season due to injury. Where's, where does he sit at the moment? Uh, he's done training this week, yeah. but he's, he's probably not at full match fitness so far. Um, and we'll be working with Vardis over the next couple of weeks to try and get him up to speed. And obviously you're not going to have Johnny Housen for three games. That must be a, a blow as well, especially given the, the nature of the incident. And it is a bit 50-50, that one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a huge blow. We, we made an appeal on it, um, but unfortunately for us it got rejected. Um, and Johnny's a big player for the club as well so that's a bit of a blow but we've got guys who can come in and fill in Your first game at Carrow Road Alex how much are you looking forward to it? Yeah I'm really looking forward to it I hope the fans get behind the team and hopefully we can give them a good performance I hope you're ready for 26,000 fans singing your name <laughs> Yeah well I hope that's the case if that's the case we're doing well so no, I'm looking forward to the challenge Cheers Alex Thank you Come on. Cheers See you in the press Cheers